friends welcome again and this is my new project boutique shop management system and i have developed this project in php and mysql and the version for the php i am using is the php version 7 and the mysql version is 5.6 and uh, for front end development i am using the html css javascript and some of the jquery library for giving some good effects inside this project like uh, integration of the form validations and adding the date plugins and validating the emails for these all operations, I am using the jQuery plugins, <laughs> right? Also, I am running this project on the Jam server. But if you have the other PHP softwares like WAMP or EasyPHP, then you can also run this project on those softwares, right? If you have the Linux operating system, then you can configure this project on the LAMP server. And if you are using the Mac, then you can configure and run this project on the Mac operating system, right? So these all technologies I am using for developing this project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So as I told you earlier, the project title is Boutique Shop Management System and it's a PHP and MySQL mini DBMS project. DBMS because MySQL has been integrated in this project and all of the CRUD application create, read, update and delete operation has been done using the MySQL database. Right. It's a mini project because it has only and only customer login. Sorry. It has only and only admin login. There is no customer login inside this system and this project has been developed only for the single boutique shop right to manage all of the things to sell the things to uh, sell the products to get the requirements right so for these operations we have developed this project so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page this is about page and it's a simple about us page and if you want to change the content of this about page then you can change it from the about.php this is a login from where admin will be able to log in and uh, admin can perform certain operations. This is the contact us page and this is a static contact us page. I am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere in Twitter database email. I am not sending any type, any type of email and SMS from this page. Right, so let's start with the login. So the user ID is admin and the password test. So once you log inside the system, you will get the admin dashboard right so this is the admin dashboard from here you will be able to manage these things right so let me go through one by one so this is the home page already explained you this is about this is a dashboard right so from the dashboard these menus are also available these menus are also available here in the top header part right so you can jump on the page from here or here right so let me go through one by one this is the add product from here you will be able to add any number of product means uh, what the product you have in the boutique you can add any number of product here right and those all products will be saved into the database this is the add sale from where you will be able to start the sale right so let me go through a sale one again. so suppose I'll start from the customer mobile so for starting the sale you need to enter the customer mobile and the customer name first so once you start the continue billing you will get the sales dashboard from here you will be able to i think there is a mistake here right so from here you will be able to select the uh, product right any product here you can select right so this you can see the products are getting added automatically inside the inside the item list right so you can see this is the item list and products are getting added automatically even if you want to increase the items then you can increase the items also from here and the product cost will be automatically calculated right so you can see the product costs are automatically calculating and if you want to delete the item just delete the item click on this sign and you can see the product cost has been calculated automatically right so once you click on the save and print the whole details of this page will be saved into the database and you you will access it uh later also right so once you click on the save and print then you can see this is the sales receipt page right and you can print it also once you click on the print then you can see the printable page will be open right this is a report from where you will be able to find all of the reports right so once you click on the product report then you can see these product reports are coming you can search the products from here also like sorry right then you can see the product uh, uh, product is getting filtered out using that the search term and once you click on the edit then you can edit the details and you can update the details 
and those details will be updated into the database also. This is a sales report from where you will be able to see all of the sales. So this is the last sales which you have made. Once you click on the view details, then you will be able to see the, see the details of that sales, right? This is a sales report. So is, it contains all of the sales which you have made earlier. This is a change password from where you will be able to update your accounts password and you will be all, you will be able to log inside the system using your updated password. This is a logout. So once you log out from the system, then none of the admin menu will be displayed and you will not be able to access any of the administration things, right? So once you log out, so you can see all of the administration menu is uh, not displaying. And once you log inside the system, then you will be able to get the admin menu, right? So these operations I have developed inside this project boutique shop management system. And uh, as I told you earlier, this is a PHP and MySQL DBMS mini project with the admin login functionality only. If you need more functionality in this project, just put into put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project video videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.